I was scrolling through on Instagram and I saw a brand new account by a new lighting company, Hobo Light. Now these lights are actually still in kind of the beta testing phase. So keep that in mind when you're watching this video. Before we get to the actual lights, let's talk about some of their lighting modifiers they have. I'm the type of guy that normally has to pack my car like a clown car with C stands and lighting stands. The fact that this is my entire lighting modifying kit, game changer. If you're into that like leather, vintage-y kind of look, you're gonna love the brand. All right, so this is the, yeah, the lantern here. Fits inside this nice soft case. We got our lantern and everything here is a quick release. And so uh, the way it came actually was just the frame like this and then the cover. And I'll actually leave the frame off so you can see how it works. You essentially just push these together and then there's a little hook right there. Now you have good old lantern uh, all set up. All right, so then in this bag here, we'll have our soft box. This one, we're just gonna open one of the sides in the front. And kind of same thing, there's a little spring in there you just line up, boom. Again, nothing super groundbreaking in terms of a quick release softbox. All right, so now to the light stands, which I'm in love with the design of these things. Look how compact this thing is in the ingenious engineering foldable design. It's also incredibly lightweight as it looks like it's carbon fiber. And we have what feels like aluminum metal. So everything feels high quality, even though it's thinner. Simply on Velcro the end here. And then the way they're able to get it so compact is because it just folds out like this. And then the way you tighten it down is this ring right here. Simply squeeze that. You can see that it has these rings that you loosen and then just tighten. And so again, I'm not really gonna compare this light stand to a C stand because they're just in totally different categories of use cases. These are two of my cheaper light stands that are still good quality. Came and fit this one on the table. Look at the size difference and definitely this impact light stand. I'm in love. Genuinely, I'm in love. Okay, so enough with the accessories. Now time to look at the actual lights. All right, so they actually have three lights in their lineup and the only one that we don't have to showcase here is the Pro model, which I believe is a 300 watt light. It looks really cool. Most notably has a removable back screen that you can then use as a remote. But for now we have the Mini, which is a 20 watt light and the Avant, which is 100 watts. So first, let's look at the Mini. Is this not the cutest, like most vibey little light you've ever seen? <laughs> It literally looks like a old vintage camera by itself, never mind a light. Also, it comes with a telescoping 15 to 45 degree angle lens, so you can actually focus the light. It actually runs off an internal battery, or of course you can run it off the USB type C in the back. It's got two buttons on top, and of course a small colored LED screen here, which we can just power this on. And did I mention that this is full by color? So of course we can change intensity, but I can also change this to a nice warm light. It also includes this nice little barn doors mount here, which you can just slap on the front. Yeah. Huh? That's cool light, huh? Yeah. I actually love the fact that they use a V-mount quick release system, because then you can put a bunch of V-mount accessories everywhere and have kind of your own little quick release system going. So I can just slide this into place here. And as you can see, even though this is just a 20 watt light output, especially in a studio environment, 20 watts can go a long way. This is still a killer output. This is at 1% right now. And with how small and light it is, it makes mounting to like a ceiling or an overhead bar way easier than mounting a lot heavier and bigger lights. Now all of their lights are also app controlled, but I wanna show that off with the next light as well. On the front, we can see that initially has this same 45 degree angle lens. It's not telescoping, but if we push this bottom piece right here, we can see it comes off and we can see that we again have a mini Bowens mount. They did let me know that they are going to have a full size Bowens mount adapter. So if you buy these lights and have a bunch of existing full size Bowens accessories, that will still be compatible. This time we got the fans up top and so we have a larger screen in the back 
the same two dials and a couple extra dials on the bottom. We have the power port right here and a power button. All of the mounts and accessories are full metal and they all feel incredibly high quality and they feel just so versatile. I mean, again, this is a clamp, but let's say this is all you remember to bring. It's got another quarter 20 on the bottom so you can mount this to a light stand and still have your light right there, even if you're not utilizing the clamp. All right, so in here is another barn doors made for the larger size. It also has a bunch of little magnets that you can see right here. And so if you don't wanna bring a whole softbox setup, but you still want a little bit of diffusion, you have a little diffusion dome right here. It also has a bunch of different gels that you can choose from and just slap those right there to magnetize. <laughs> and actually put it in front. Now look at the camera again, yeah, look right there. You can see that it's actually very pleasant lighting on them. They look good, Gabby? Yeah. All right, so now let's check out the Hobo Light app, which they did warn me that this is still very much a beta app. All right, so I'm gonna go in and try to add a device. It's searching. All right, and we can see a pop up here. I'm gonna hit confirm. One device fully added. And we've got a very basic, nice uh, interface here so we can change the intensity, which you can see it doing there. And also go in and change the color temperature. And let's see if the effects are working. All right, so it looks like effects still aren't uh, fully working on the lights. I don't, I think I would need to upgrade the firmware on the actual light. This is all still in beta. So of course this is gonna all be functional by the time everything ships. And this guy back in, one device added. So now we can see we have both devices here. And just like anything else, you can create groups as well as create a scene. So maybe I can go studio setup. I'm gonna add both my lights to it. You can see that as I change the co color temperature, they both change. And right now that's pretty much the app. So it's basic, but it's clean, it's simple, everything pairs super easily. And of course, again, by the time this ships, all those features are gonna be added in. Now I haven't just tinkered with these uh, for a few minutes here in the studio. I actually trusted these to be the main lighting kit uh, for a couple commercial projects recently, one of them including the awesome other YouTuber, Amy Landino. Normally she's making fun of me because I'm having to trek up to her office where she was at like five times carrying multiple sandbags and C-stands and all this lighting and audio gear. And this time I was able to carry the entire lighting setup in one arm. You saw all those bags and then just these two small cases and that's it. So for the traveling indie filmmaker, or if you're doing a lot of interviews or just anything where these lighting accessories you think would be a good fit or something with an internal battery, I think Kobo Light really offers a fresh and fun uh, perspective on lighting. And again, as someone who receives dozens of emails every day for, hey, here's our new light that's just another copy and paste of the same old thing. This feels fun and new, and I really like where they're going, and I can't wait to see uh, when their Kickstarter launches. Make sure you follow them on Instagram to keep up to date with all the latest news on uh, product updates and when the Kickstarter goes live. And of course, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future notifications. And normally I leave now, but this is kind of in the way, so don't mind. The awkward exit.